Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. My name is Baron Collins Hill. This week, I just want to clue you in to an amazing resource. If you're into Irish fiddle tunes, which I certainly am, and I know that a lot of you are, there's a million Irish tunes out there. There's more than anyone could ever learn in a lifetime. And that said, you know, I often get the question, oh, what's the, what are the most common Irish tunes? And I have different resources. You can look at thesession.org and look through the, the top 500 most popular Irish tunes, things like that. But I recently found an amazing resource that I'm going to link to in the description. So there's a great Irish traditional music society in Ireland called, uh, excuse my pronunciation, Cultus Cultori Aran, which is, I think it just translates to traditional Irish music society. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Anyone who actually speaks and knows Irish better than I. Uh, and it's a great organization that really helps promote uh, traditional music in Ireland. They've got some amazing CDs that I just came across. Uh, again, I'll have links in the description to all of this. Um, I found them just looking up. I'm always looking up different tunes. Oh, how does that one go? And I look it up online and one of them popped up in one of these sets. It's just recordings of uh, traditional Irish sessions. Um, and over the course, there's I believe there's three CDs where actually each CD is a two CD set. Um, so there's like 115 tunes per CD. And the thing that I really love about them is ever, after playing Ir Irish music all over America and a little bit in Ireland as well, all these tunes are really kind of standard Irish repertoire. And having played Irish music for 15 years now, I really recognize a lot of these tunes, and I don't know how to play them all, but I can really say, oh yeah, that tune. Pretty much every tune that goes by is, oh yeah, that's a great tune, I love that tune, I haven't thought about that in years. And it's a great resource to have because there's so many tunes out there and how do you know what to play? And I think no matter where you are in the world, if you uh, listen to these CDs, uh, I'll, again, links in the description, I'll post, there's YouTube playlists, you can find them on streaming services, you can find them through the Cultus uh, website, all the links in the description. Whatever you can do to just listen to these CDs, they're great to listen to. They're, they don't sound um, very educational. A lot of times, if I'm hearing music in a really educational setting, it's, it's kind of dry sounding and you know, you might have like, okay, here is Miss Monahan's. One, two, three, four, And, you know, it's it's a great learning resource, but it's not up to speed. You're not hearing multiple m musicians playing at once where everyone has slightly different versions. Um, and these are all played up to speed in sets. So they're great ideas for sets. Um, and they really breeze right through them. So they only play tunes two or three times through each. But what I recommend is find these recordings and then find a slowdown program and you can slow them down to really uh, pick apart tunes that really catch your ear. Say, oh, I want to learn that one. Put it in a slowdown software. Uh, some of my favorites are um, tunetranscriber.com. I'll have links in the description. Uh, there's also Transcribe and uh, Amazing Slowdowner. There's lots of different versions out there. Some are free, some are paid. Whatever way you like to sort of get into slowing down music is a great resource to have. So how do I recommend going about using these recordings? I think in a couple ways. One is just put them on in the background. Listen to them. They're great sounding albums. It's really, they really captured the session vibe. I think it's just because they're recorded sessions. Um, so you'll hear, as you listen through, you'll get a sense of what every instrument is doing. Try to pick out different instruments. Oh, there's there's a fiddle. Oh, there's, there's a guitar. Oh, what, what do I have there? A flute or pipes or whatever it may be. Tenor banjo, things like that. You'll start to hear the different instruments. You'll start to be able to connect different tunes together. Like, oh, they played that tune and then that tune. That's a nice set. Maybe I can work that into my own playing. It'll just teach you so much just by listening um, and not even having an instrument in your hands. And then also try to play along. You know, that's the great thing about recordings. Try to play up to speed where you're totally falling behind and just grappling for whatever little bit of the tune you can get. You can also slow the tune down and dive more deeply into it. The more you spend time with these recordings, uh, the more your understanding of Irish music will improve. So that's enough of me talking about this great new resource that I discovered. Go into the description, check out these recordings, 
listen to them, learn from them. It's a great resource, and I'm really enjoying checking them out, and I hope you do too. Thanks so much. Lots of new lessons, a new lesson every single week here on Mando Lessons, often more uh, connected to actually playing the mandolin, although this is a great resource for listening. So if you want more mandolin skills and techniques, check out mandolessons.com. Uh, you can support the website in a number of different ways, even though the lessons are always free. Links in the description to PayPal, Patreon, and merch if that's your style. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.